get my hair. And welcome to Nancy's Neighborhood, folks, and it's great to have you with us today. We have a full schedule today, so we're going to get right into it. But I will say, I don't know what I look like because the wind is blowing. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but it's a little bit windy, and we've already had some rain. And I think we may have some storms this afternoon. But anyway, I am thrilled to have a person that's very, very dear to me, Lindsay Smith-Bell. And, and Lindsay is so talented, and she does... Drama Central at Bradley Central High School. And she's got something exciting coming up this week and we the next, so let's talk about it. We do. We are doing, we're doing Shakespeare again. Yes. And I was just telling you before that it, it might be a while before I do it again. <laughs> My kids requested this one. They, we did Romeo and Juliet two years ago, and they came to me last year and said, please, please, before we graduate, um, will you please do another Shakespeare? Strange children. Really and, strange. And that's just a, a, a request that I can't refuse. No, you can't. I when can't. the kids ask for it. Absolutely. And they requested um, the Shakespeare play that I know the best. And this will be the fourth time that I have directed it. And it's called Twelfth Night. And it is a hilarious comedy. Um, happy ending. Good. Love and marriage all around. No one stabs themselves. <laughs> Fantastic. No one stabs themselves. Fantastic. <clears throat> and um, it's it's really the story about <clears throat> excuse me about two twins who have been separated um, on a shipwreck, and they wind up in the same town. The girl twin has dressed up like a boy in order to protect her virtue and herself, and what results is basically constant mistaken identity. They're mistaking these two twins for each other. And finally, in the end of the play, the twins realize that the other is alive and has survived this terrible um, tempest on, on the ocean. And so, happy ending. Very happy ending. Yes, Romeo There's, and Juliet, Juliet was not a happy no, ending. No, no, no. But it was a beautiful production. It was. And, yes. and it got out a lot of my um, teenager's angst, you yes. know. And, and But this one is hilarious from start to finish. Good. Good. And there's going to be several opportunities for people to see this. So yes, I want you to let them know what these opportunities are. Okay. We do a Thursday show this Thursday at uh, 7 o'clock, Friday at 7 o'clock, then Saturday is at 2, and then Sunday is at 2. And then the next weekend, we do the exact same thing. We do Thursday at 7, Friday at 7, Saturday at 2, and Sunday at 2. And tickets are $12.00 flat fee, um, $12, and we need your money because we're starving artists. That's true. And all, there's a live band. All artists are, oh, and a live band. We oh, have fantastic. live musicians on stage this time. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, and, and tell everybody where you all are. We are at the Bradley Central Fine Arts Center in the beautiful, beautiful theater and uh, right down the street. And it's very easy to find, especially on um, on Saturdays when you come in and, um, you know, we're you just drive in the gate and we're right right there to the left. It's Smitty Arena will be in front of you and um, Smith Arena on the, <laughs> on the other <laughs> there side. There you go. Absolutely. I love it. So, but yes, we have a live band. And that's something important that I really wanted to point out too was that, you know, a lot of people hear Shakespeare and they think, forget it. I don't want anything to do with it. It makes me feel stupid. I don't want... Nobody understands 100% of Shakespeare. Nobody. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is come and sit in the seat and let it wash over you. And we have put in modern songs from Garth Brooks to Carrie Underwood to um, Go into the Chapel. And oh, cute. Uh, there are there are so many songs in this um, in in this play that we tell you what's going on by the music that you're <laughs> listening to. We give you a hand at that. So. And you do two performances a year, right? We do three. Three. We do three shows a year. We do um, in the in the fall. We do a musical, which right. is great because normally the other schools are doing their musicals in the spring. Yes, they are. So we do our uh, fall musical, and then we always do best Christmas pageant ever. Oh yes, which I, we I'm, adore. I'm sorry, I love that one. That's yes. okay. It's just because we it, love it. There's Christmas trees everywhere, Light, lighted Christmas yes. trees everywhere. And this year you did uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We did, and that was so good. Yes. And and then you do the spring production. Now let me ask you, do these kids audition? I'm sorry, do these students audition for these performances? They or? do. Okay. They do. Um, in the in, in the spring, I, I normally start out with, I'm allowed to have 35 in a class. Okay. And so I will have 35 tight. 
in my class and we will come back from summer break and they will audition in class immediately for the parts that they want and then they'll all be in my class and it's very convenient now having a child that <laughs> I have them in fourth period so we start rehearsals at two o'clock in the afternoon so we get to leave at five versus in the spring, I don't have them in a class. And so we start rehearsals at four. Ooh. Tonight we won't leave till eight. Wow, okay, those are long hours. Th they are. And so, so these, these students sign up, when they sign up for your class in the, in the fall, they know that they're gonna be doing a production. They do. Whether or not they star in it or whether they paint drop backdrops or what they do. Right, they do. But in order to be a lead in the show, you have to be in the class because of that stretch of time that, you know, I, I want to be a mom too, so I want to get yes, home to that course baby. Yes, of course you do. And he's how old now? Because he's precious. He's three. Oh no, surely not. He is. He's adorable. And he he's starting to adorable. get his lo daddy's long legs, starting to call him Stretch. And we got him a new puppy. Oh yes, so, I've seen and that. And Boone now, Boone is the black lab, mm -hmm. now outweighs him by at least 20 pounds. So whoever said it was a good idea, you know, <laughs> get a puppy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's like having another toddler running yes, around. Yes, but, that, but that's good but, for him. Oh, it's hilarious. Uh -huh. It's hilarious. The other day, um, Jacob came in, and I, um, he had Boone by the ears and was pulling. And Boone's looking like this, and then I turn around, and they go galloping down the house together. It's like... They're best friends. So. And that's good. Absolutely. That's good because he's an only child right now, and that's what he needs is a playmate. And he will remain an only child. <laughs> <laughs> and you heard it live here on Nancy's Neighborhood, folks. But I'm excited about Twelfth Night because you will actually be doing eight performances. Yes. Whew. We're actually going to be doing ten because oh, that's the right. English this. teachers, the English, this is this is state core curriculum, mm -hmm. um, and and the I think the Cambridge classes, if I'm not mistaken are actually reading Twelfth Night. So we're doing two school performances for the English classes so that they can come in and see what they're reading live on stage. Great. So I, I always say, you know, people say, how are your plays so good? And I say, well, I drive them like slaves. <laughs> they drop at the end of it. So, but we used to just do one weekend. And it's like, you want to rehearse for six weeks and, you know, bust your booty this whole time to then come in and do four shows? No. No. No, it's not, no, it's not worth it. No. I at least want them to want to be done at right. the end of it. Right, yes, and so. I would say by the tenth performance, they are saying, please, this oh, is it. Oh, absolutely. Now, I know sometimes you have offered tickets to, or you have, yeah, offered tickets to elementary schools to come in and see productions, but do you do that with Shakespeare? Well, we haven't. Okay. We, we really haven't. The, the elementary schools, and, and understandably so, um, th those kids are not interested in this. <laughs> and uh, the last thing that I would want is to add another performance so that my kids could look out on children that we have graciously put to sleep. <laughs> right, <laughs> so, <laughs> right, absolutely. But Just now, because they wouldn't under, like a normal audience, you will understand it. I promise you that. You will understand what's going on. Children, not so much. And, and you all do such wonderful performances, and you have such a marvelous facility to do this we in. Do. I just, I've enjoyed every one of them that I have been to, and I plan on somewhere in these 10 performances, I am going to get there. I'm looking you always right, do? I, well, I'm looking right now at Thursday night, because that's looking really good, but Saturday afternoon doesn't look too bad either, or Sunday Wonderful. after church, go out to eat and then come see Yes, so, so. and Alan calls it, my brother Alan, he calls it Broadway Light. Yes. He goes to the bistro and has, you know, um, an, an appetizer and, and possibly a cocktail, comes over, has a little Broadway light, and then uh, oftentimes, this is something that I love, but oftentimes we will meet at the bistro after to discuss, um, and he's always so interested, so. Well, Alan, Alan just tickles me to death because he's my Broadway buddy. He always goes and checks out the plays before I go, and then... Uh, the only one I think he has seen that he keeps recommending for me to see, and I just, it's not interesting me, is Hamilton. But all the rest oh. of them, but all the rest of them he's recommended have been outstanding. I still hold a grudge against him. I was, he and Kelly went to New York when the original cast was still there mm -hmm. and did the, the lottery. I know. And got in to see that show. Mm -hmm. And there I was in the hospital having just had a baby. 
I was so mad. I was so mad at him. Well, he's tried to explain that lottery to me, but I keep saying, I'll just go ahead and buy my tickets and know that I'm going to be right. there. So, but, but, I, but I always enjoy Alan and Kelly saying to me, here's what you need to see. And so far, they've not steered me wrong, except, like I say, I, have, I don't know why, but I just have no desire to see well, Hamilton. Well, to each his own. And, and so, anyway, but I'm excited. Uh, how many students do you have in this performance? I'd have to go back and count, Nancy, honestly, but it, it normally is around 50 to 55. That's what I was thinking. And, and this time I have musicians who are planted on the stage the entire time. Um, they are all Bradley Central students except for one. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have a banjo player. It's great. And all a bunch of sing you know, a, a bunch of singers. I have a little girl who plays the box drum. And like I said, they sit there the entire time. This cast might be a little smaller. I want to say there's at least 35 to 40. Okay. And and there will be that many on stage at one time? or just, Absolutely. Or, okay. Yes. The, the, the final scene, they're all on stage together. I, I'm excited. You I give think, me a stage, I'll fill it up. I know you will. And, and you <laughs> do such a great... Fill it up. And I think that we are so fortunate to have you at Bradley doing this. Thank you. Because you do, like I say, the three performances, I forgot about the Best Little Christmas Pageant because I, I've been to that two years, maybe three years, but it's, it's so cute. But <laughs> it's so cute because you're... Grown kids are playing the parts of the, anyway, it's, it's absolutely, they, they, it's hysterical. Well, and Dr. Cash has requested, and we, we may do, so I'll tease it out there. Okay. We may be doing, and this is a different, a different genre of show for us, but Dr. Cash has asked me to do Annie oh, in the wow. fall. And okay. I'm not a huge fan of the show only because it's done so much. Right. But it would be all my high school kids playing all these young orphans, <laughs> right. which I just can't get enough of it. It will be so, so cute. Funny. It real. It will be so. so cute. It will be so. Now, where we can just buy tickets at the door? You can, and that's the best way to get them. Okay. We never sell out, unfortunately. Hopefully, one day we will. Um, the community will catch up with what we're doing, or or we'll figure out how to advertise better. But. Hopefully one day we'll sell out all 600 of those seats. I, want, I was just going to ask, 600 seats. Mm -hmm. And, of course, when you spread that out over eight performances right. to the public, that's, yeah, you're, not, you're probably we're, we're not, not going to fill out. So you, you do not have to buy your tickets in advance. You can come up, buy a ticket at the door, and walk in. And there's no reserved seating. Nope. It's just first come, first, first serve. Come, first just serve. find your and seat. And there's not a bad seat in the house. No, there's not. No, there's not. So it's $12. $12. All right. Now, it, the play starts at 7, so they should be there by? By 6.50. Okay. People think that theaters like the movies. There's no previews beforehand. Right. <laughs> we, right. don't, we don't do, you know, coming attractions. Right. Um, we, we will have the theater and the lobby open starting at about 6.15, 6.20. Because since I have all these live musicians and all these kids who love to play oh, yeah. music, they're going to be sitting up there. It'll be just requests and karaoke. How neat. If you've got a voice, come on up. If we can play the song, we will. And so there'll be entertainment for a good 30, 45 minutes beforehand. But we start our shows. Sometimes I'll hold for maybe five minutes if people are coming in. But... Curtains up at seven. Curtain goes at seven. And two on Saturday and, and Sunday. So I think this is great. I'm, I can't wait. I'm excited because I love all your performances. You do such a great job. Thank and you. And the kids just, the first year that you all did Shakespeare that I went, I thought, I can't believe they've learned all these lines. That's the thing that everybody points out is the lines. And honestly, the lines come the easiest to them. It's, what the heck am I saying? And so yeah. that comes... That's a little bit harder. And then we start working on, you know, people think that acting is about emotion, but it's not. It's about intention. It's about what the character's trying to get. And so th once they learn those lines and once we have what the heck they're saying down, then we start with why are you saying it and what do you want? That's the most challenging part of acting. Well, I was really impressed. Romeo and Juliet, I was totally impressed. And I, I mean, well, I've, come I and just, let us impress you again. I, that sounds wonderful because I do, love I do plan to. And if it's really good, I'll come a second time. And Perfect. Lindsay, thank you so much for being thank on with me today. Thank you for always having me uh, well, and being Lindsay, such a huge supporter of the I, arts. I love, I love the arts. Lindsay Smith-Bell does a great job over there. And I do thank you so much for being on with me today. Thank you so much. So you need to go back to rehearsal. I do. <laughs> so. We have three left. Oh. Okay, so uh, if she's got a little tick there, that's because yeah, she's that's going back. Me. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back after these commercials. Remember, watch our commercials, support our sponsors because they pay our bills, and I'll be right back with another guest. <laughs> 